I'm Bruce Gordon. Viewers of my videos have asked about the SAGE air defense radar system that protected the United States in the 1960s and 1970s. First, I'll give a background of air defense radar and why we needed the SAGE system. Then I'll describe the SAGE system and I'll end with a very personal account of how I used the SAGE system in an actual air defense mission. During World War II in the Battle of Britain, the British produced the chain home set of large radar towers which could detect the approach of large German bomber formations. This information was passed to air defense command centers where their position was plotted. If the British had not known where the German bombers were, they would have had to put up small groups of fighters for combat air patrol using precious fuel, and if they happened to see the German bombers, they would have been seriously outnumbered by the German fighter escorts. The command centers would scramble squadrons or even large groups of fighters to air defense sectors where they expected the German bombers to be. The command centers did not track the fighters themselves, so they are unable to tell the fighters exactly where to look to find the German bombers, but fortunately the Germans came over in such large numbers that it was usually fairly easy to find them. Later in the war, the Germans faced the same problem in reverse, but the continent of Europe was much larger than the British Isles to defend, and the Americans would change their headings and send out decoy squadrons to confuse the defenses. Hitler was absolutely infuriated when hundreds of U.S. bombers could strike deep into Germany and the hundreds of German fighters that he sent up reported that they couldn't even find a single U.S. bomber. Hitler thought his fighter pilots must be cowards and were afraid of getting killed attacking the American formations. He even sent out a directive saying that one fighter pilot from each squadron should be shot as a coward, as an example to the others. Hitler simply didn't realize how big the airspace is and how hard it is to find an aircraft unless you know exactly where it is. At the beginning of the Cold War in the 1950s, the U.S. built a series of radar stations along the coasts of the U.S. and into Canada. These stations had a radar coverage of about 200 miles and had some overlapping coverage. They could coordinate their actions by telephone. These air defense radars could see both the fighters and the attacking bombers on their radar scopes and give directions to the fighter to find where the bombers were. As bomber attack speeds increased, the geometry to position the fighters correctly became very complex and difficult, and the controllers frequently made rather large errors in positioning the fighters. Moreover, as the bombers passed from one radar site to another, the handoff of the targets and the fighters was often fouled up. We had excellent coordination and cooperation with Canada and we built three air defense lines. The Pine Tree Line, the Mid-Canada Line, and the Distant Early Warning Line, the Dew Line. Along our coasts, we put our radar stations out on what we called Texas Towers because they looked so much like the oil drilling rigs 
used off of Texas. Where the ocean was too deep, we used radar picket ships and radar picket airplanes, the RC-121s, to give us warning and control over the eastern and western approaches to the U.S. The masses amount of information coming in were too much to handle by telephone. In 1954, the SAGE system was started at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. SAGE stood for Semi-Automatic Ground Environment, and it soon became even larger than the Manhattan Project, which had built the atomic bomb. Twenty-three four-story concrete blockhouses were built, each connecting 100 air defense elements by computer. These were early vacuum tube computers and used almost 3 megawatts of power requiring extensive cooling systems. The vacuum tubes linked in series to run the computer had a unfortunately high failure rate, so we developed the backup control system or Buick which did the same basic thing with fewer elements than SAGE. SAGE became operational in 1959 and was decommissioned in 1983. So for about 20 years, it provided air defense control from the United States. A SAGE controller had a large scope which showed computer presentations of the attacker and the fighter and the proposed geometry to attack the target. He did not have real radar on his scope. Everything was generated by the SAGE computer. The computer sent the target's heading, altitude, direction, and speed to the fighter's equipped with computers to handle it, such as the F-106. The fighter pilot saw the target information and a target marker circle appeared on his radar scope showing the approximate location of the target. When he actually picked up the target on radar and locked on, he would call Judy, the code word for meaning I am taking over the attack. I was flying F-106s out of self Ridge Air Force Base near Detroit, Michigan in 1968 when we had a exercise. I was scrambled and followed the SAGE directions on my radar scope, climbing to high altitude and heading northwest. Suddenly, I received pairing, as they say when the controller gives me a target. Some target information appeared on my instruments, and I could see that the target was coming in across Lake Michigan and was at low altitude. I was still outside of radar contact of the target when the SAGE controller called, break off the attack, the computer has gone down. I have no radar information. His computer may have gone down, but my F-106 had the target information and would dead reckon the target based on that last information. So I called Judy. The controller was surprised. He said, understand Judy? I said, Roger, Judy. I am taking over the attack. My F-106 computer knew where the target should be and gave me directions. I descended rapidly and turned on to the attack. A few minutes later, I was at low altitude and picked up the target on my radar. I locked on and the computer gave me the final directions for missile firing. The computer generated the missile fire signal 
putting a big X on my scope. Breakaway. I broke away and called MA, Mission Accomplished. I had followed the SAGE computer system from takeoff until close to the target, and when it failed, my F-106 computer took over and completed the attack. The perfect example of the use of the SAGE system.